Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 my shining stars. I hope you're shining bright. Not letting anybody dim that light. My name is Trinity and welcome to my channel all about the healing. All right. Before I go into all of my ride and dies and all of my intro, I want to introduce you to something, a new product. I'm going to do a product review, you guys. <laughs> anyway, but I want to introduce you a little bit to this new product, um, product review and how I used it and utilize it. And maybe hopefully, hopefully you may be able to utilize it in your life. All right. So hold on a second as I change the view and you see what is up all right okay so i was asked to do to do a product review of these beautiful beautiful roses right and they are so beautiful look at them now i said okay um and i got them and I, how can i incorporate these roses i just don't want to sit them on my desk they're beautiful they can go anywhere you want them to go and they last a long time so i said how can i incorporate this and do a proper review of it all right so what i did was i incorporated into my spiritual bath right this is just a basic spiritual bath because it's different layers to a spiritual bath, right? So I have my candles. That, let's do a visual because I, I could not take y'all into my bathroom and try to do my reading after this, so no. So visualize, you got your candles, you got your crystals and things around the toilet. I mean, up the toilet, sorry. I'm thinking of bathroom, right? Tub, right? You put your roses, <clears throat> which symbolize all of this symbolized nature when you have a spirit when you're doing a spiritual bath you are trying to incorporate nature place your body to be grounded with nature that's why you have bath salts right you have um love oils you um for self-love or bring in the love the manifest love you have um different oils that you can get i have my um Archangel Michael oil that I use, um, <clears throat> and Epsom salt. You can Mr. Teal's is very good because you can use it as a foaming bath as well. But when I incorporated all of this in the bath in the uh, bathtub area, it was just the roses just made it just lit the whole thing up. You also can get rose petals and put inside as well to to set it off this is about spiritual baths is not just about the grounding it's not just about praying over the water because you need to pray over the water you need to put your oils in there your salts in there pray over the water um invite god in invite your angels in to help you release whatever you need to release all right i pull cards and um for um this particular spiritual bath that we're doing right now we visualizing right so what came out is it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself exactly boom bam and there it is right i pulled the sun i pulled a song out you can go look it up lyrics if you would like. I have nothing by Whitney Houston, right? So, and what I get off of this is, um, I have nothing by Whitney Houston means I have nothing. The uh, you have nothing without the divine. You have nothing without your angels. You have nothing without your ancestors. You have nothing. You have nothing of substance and value without your spirituality not about a man or a woman you come first self-love come first um 
your value, your, your morals, your value, your substance, everything about you, it starts with you, not another individual. When you get that and grasp that, then you can be joined with another. All right, so this is just the basics, guys. I have my little crystals, my um, rose quartz. These are all rose quartz here. Um, rose quartz is about love, right? Um, my clear quartz <clears throat> is here as well. Well, I have clear quartz, but they are clear, oh here, clear quartz. Well, this is not clear quartz, but clear quartz, rose quartz is, um, you can use, you definitely can use, um, your um jet black tamalin uh for um protection right so i just wanted to do this right quick it was supposed to be a few minutes but i wanted to if, if i'm gonna break it down about a spiritual bath i'm gonna break it all the way down okay so um I'm going to have, if you would like to purchase these roses, and they're worth it because they are they last a long time. They last, right? And you can keep it in your bathroom. You can put it whatever you want, right? But I'm giving you a glimpse of what I do and what ha I have used them for, and it is just absolutely beautiful, all right? So with that being said, if you're interested, go to the description box, the um discount code will be in the description box you'll get 10 percent off um just by clicking on that link all right so here go the reading all right so where was, where was i at <laughs> my ride and dies one one line my ride and dies it's been rocking with me from the beginning of my time still horse guys just got up to one one line to my new subscribers, woohoo! Love for my energy exchange. I love you guys and thank you, 10, 20, 100 fold, right back at you. What you sow on this channel, you shall reap, all right? Uh, on the flip side, right? On the flip side, looking good, smelling good, like I should, sitting on my throne, speaking my truth, fully persuaded and determined to move forward with my life. That means if I have to drag extra weight. I'm determined to move where I gotta go. Doesn't it, it? It gives me. It, it doesn't matter to me if you're dragging. If you're trying to pull me and weigh me down, it don't matter. I know I'm gonna make it, right? Dead weight or not, I'm fully persuaded, right? So with that being said, woulda, coulda, should us. I send you love. I send you healing energy. I send you um, forgive. I send you my forgiveness. I just wish the best for you. Um, I understand because the reason why I can, because some of you can't understand what I mean when I say um, that I wish you well because of the things that you have done. But the thing about it is I understand why you did what you did. I understand what mind frame you was in. And that is why I can forgive. That's why I can let it go. That is why because you have not dealt and you refuse to deal with your issues therefore it has nothing to do with me what you did to me has nothing to do with me that is your issue that's your mindset and that's your thing your uh your uh crisis trauma all of that that's between you and the divine divine just use me as a vessel as a catalyst to help you get to this point now you at a cross world, you had a choice that you have to make. And that's between you and him. It doesn't have anything to do with me. You can send me black magic, you can hate on me, you can gossip about me, but as you do those things, I still will rise. Because what you're doing and the energy you're in and the, and the intentions that you have towards me has nothing to do with who I am and where, where I'm going and what I'm going to become, all right? So that's just a little bit of clarification for you so you can get some type of understanding because understanding and clarity helps you to be able to move and be able to do what you got to do all right so with that being said it is so so be it in ah shake all right so guys today i'm going to put out some more readings but however because of the product review i needed to do a collective read okay 
that's for everybody all signs because i'm not going to do that product review for two uh, for eight signs the eight signs that i do and while i'm on here let me be clear i only do eight signs eight signs that whether it go low sometime it or not these are the eight signs that i do i do taurus capricorn i do um uh libra gemini i do um aries sagittarius and leo okay i think that's everybody no i do scorpio Okay, so I do not do Pisces, I do not do Cancer, I do not do Aquarius, and I do not do Virgo. Do not do those signs, all right? They do not watch my readings, and I am busy. I have a full-time job, I have a household, I have different things that I have to do, and I have to attend to myself. If I'm not going to keep pouring and keep pouring and pouring over video uh doing videos for people who not watching my videos they don't even comment on them when they it's on up to a hundred maybe two hundred at that right and they don't watch them so they don't even comment so no i'm not going to do that i made a conscious decision to do videos for people who watch and then people who really watch i made a commitment that I would do an extra additional reading, a bonus read for whoever do, whoever um, watch my videos more. That is what I'm doing right now. So with that being said, please, 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 uh, with all that talking I just did, just let, just relax and let's just try to dive deep and what I decided to do, I've been doing a couple of um, uh, love readings, right? So I said, okay, I'm going to um, go ahead and do a collective love reading. So this is a collective love reading, okay? All signs. But this is going to be past, present, and future. Or, or past, present, and outcome, future, whatever way you want to place it all right i put past in here because i could have put this any any made it any other way but i put past in here so we can have the next two categories maybe we can read it as somebody that's new or somebody that you're presently going with and you want to have some information on that so that's what so let's get through this past because we know the past is the same old same old same old same old but let's get through it okay we have this is okay and what i get from this is that in the past there was love there um it was genuine however um the love was scattered um the love became toxic and karmic um because we now know that um we we met these karmics these toxic toxic people for a reason i've got a channeling of why and i'm only going to say it once because i've said it in the last readings that i've done but now that i have the this is a collective reading all right Hold on, guys. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Um, that um, you, this is the way it was when it started. Because I'm getting ready to go into where it ended. But this is, it was bright. It was beautiful. It was love. It was with the flowers. It was, um, uh, something that you've never it was pure it was something that you never felt before um it was beautiful you thought that this was your be all end all you thought that this was your person you thought that you would be with this person 
for the rest of your life. It was a deep love. It was something deep. Um, but something happened, right? Right? Your song is, If This World Were, My, were Mine, by Luther Vandross and Cheryl Lynn. So, a lot of you probably don't even know. And I was going to sing it but <laughs> a little bit. But um, it goes like this. Uh, if this world were mine, I will place at your feet all that I own. You've been so good to me. If this world were mine, I'll give you a flower, the birds and the bees, and your love beside me. There will be all I need if this world were mine. give you everything all right so this is where you were now this if this world were mine both of you felt like this however only one of you in this in this uh only one of you in this dynamic really um put it out there it was one-sided. One person didn't know how to love the other but other person. They didn't know how to love. They only thing they know is trauma, abuse. Um, that that is what they unite sex um, with love. So the other person felt this way. They kept pouring and pouring and pouring and giving and giving and giving and giving, and giving trying to show this person that they would give them the world, that they would love them, that they would be with them, that they would, you know, they are all that they need. And the more that this person poured and the more that this person poured, this person is start to smother this person because this person didn't understand and could not connect with that type of love because it has never been given to them. So what they did was, They start uh, reacting to this person in a form, in a mindset of lack. What I mean by that, the more this person poured, the more this person um, pulled back and had this mindset of lack because they didn't understand this type of love. They did not understand why this person what, what you know if you loving me what why are you loving me like this why you know what do you want do you want money what what do you want do you want sex what what do you want or you loving me like this i i can't um i i can't identify with this because if you loving me that means that it's a reason why you loving me if you loving me then you, you, you know if i give in to this you're going to leave me like everybody else mindset of lack it went from lack to becoming anxious. They started to get anxious. That music is too loud. I'm sorry. I can't get up and get, turn it down yet. All right. So anxious, right? You started to get anxious because they, they could not fathom in their mind what this was. They knew that they were feeling some type of way. They knew that they did love you, but what to do with all of this? I ain't never, my mama ain't even loved me like this. My father ain't even loved me like this. Ain't nobody never loved me like this. Then it came into their self-esteem because they didn't feel like they were worthy of this love, right? Nobody has ever loved them. So um, why you love me? What, what you try what's your what's your up game what's your end game on this why do you love me do you want something from me lack mentality low self-esteem okay so who whoever the person that was given whoever the person was given all the time and they pulled up they got tired of giving they 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 you know this person put them through the ringer put them through all kind of hell 
because at the end of result at the end of the day they had low self-esteem they didn't feel like they was worthy of this love they didn't feel like they was worthy of this person and so they put their projected their insecurities and projected their emotions and feelings of inadequately onto um this person this person got tired of it this person was um after this person pulled up then it comes the intimidation they this person was intimidated after this person left to start to be intimidated started to um feel like uh this person was better than them uh feel like this person um was worth more than them but that's their viewpoint that's how they feel felt they didn't feel good about themselves but because you pulled up moved on and when you moved on and moved away from this person you start to work on yourself because this person put you through the ringer this person hurt you deeply this person really really put damage um on you your uh your spirit your your heart um put it just you had to undo all of that stuff and you did it okay so you did it and this and this person became intimidated by you your growth your transformation your belief in yourself the self-love that you had for yourself your healing your healing journey um they became intimidated by you so you yeah because you start you they because you start focusing on yourself you pulled away from people places and things and you gave totally to yourself you focus on yourself and nobody else that's just what i just said so this is confirmation all right so that was the past right um we already know that so we 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 there you go okay you was willing to give this person the world right you gave this person not willing you gave this person the world because you gave this person everything you had so you did give them the world and they just did not see it they just not they just did not appreciate it and they just didn't it they just didn't do you they just didn't do you right all right so but now you're worthy you know who you are you have a a high vibe you your self esteem is intact you are not the person you used to be all right so we are at the present now at the present moment your song is Give Me You by Mary J. Blige. All right? These songs, they got messages in them. You just have to go look them up on Google. Um, I don't, I don't ask, I don't ask for too many things. The only thing that I really need, that is you being next to me. And that I'm satisfied. I don't don't need diamonds. I don't need gold. All I need is a you to hold. Something like that. Something about nights and um. Something like that. All right. So, give me you is um somebody wants say give me you give me all of you i didn't look up the words i'm going trying to go on my memory but anyway so this person at the present this could be you could be saying this to yourself giving give uh giving to yourself at the present moment or you have presently met somebody and this person really wants you to open up and give to them they want it they've already given to you um at the present moment this person or it may be someone who um is is in, is admiring you and want to really give you and want to be with you i should look this song up because this is really this person is really it's the message in here is this person wants to not just say this is not just sex they want this person really wants you to give them your heart they have already made up in their mind they've already made up in their heart and already made up 
made a decision that they want to give you their heart. Whether you know them, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're not. This is somebody new. This is somebody in a distant horizon. This is somebody that wants to come in. This is somebody who is in the background that maybe you don't know. Or this is definitely someone that you may be dating. This is a message for you. If you're dating someone and you don't know how it's going, this person has already made up their mind that they want to be with you. Oh, see, I'll be forgetting what's here. <laughs> oh, but wait a minute. Here you go. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute, guys. Let me go back to the past for one second. This is somebody um, who did spiritual work after you left them and you, they found themselves intimidated by you and your growth. They spiritually attacked you and sent bad juju towards you. So that's how you know who that person is. Okay. So, sorry about that. So, at the present moment, sacred union. And this person wants to give wants to give you their heart and they want you to give yours. And it says, "Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred." All right? So for those of you at the present that doesn't that's not doesn't that's not in a relationship, this is just confirmation that a relationship is coming in for you. Um, and it's going to be sacred. It's going to be safe to uh, allow this person to, and how you're gonna know who this person is is because this person is really gonna open up to you more so than you. They're going to be the ones that's going to want to, that they're probably going to be the one to tell you that they love you first. They're probably going to be the one that's going to be able, that's going to pour into you first. Because um, you're going to be study trying to find, um, read this person's energy, read their intentions, try to figure out if this is the right person for you. Uh, that's what energy you're going to be in. But this particular person, when they meet you, and they feel your energy and they um, be around you for a, a little while, they're going to know exactly who you are. They're going to know exactly what they want. They're going to know exactly uh, where this is going. You're not going to have to keep running them down and ask them where this is going. They're going to be running you down. They're going to want to be with you. They're not going to want to let you go. And it's not going to be something that's going to be possessive and controlling. This person is going to understand where you've been and why you act the way you act. It's not going to be a rush job or try to flip you, dip you in the bed. It's going to be something with a sacred union. This person is going to know how to talk to you. Going to know how to um, get you to understand how they really truly feel about you sacred means something that's innocent something that is pure something that is filled with honesty and integrity this person knows that that is the way to go with you being honest being um uh being um uh, committed to and being consistent to telling the truth and um, opening themselves up they'll be willing to open themselves up first because you're worth it you you are going to be worth it this person is going to prove that you are worth it to them that you're not a game you're not an option you are it and they're one of they're going to show you this give me you give me you right um and that's where I got you from. See, here's doubts. This is whoever is the one that is reluctant, reluctant that you're going to be doubting. Doubting because this particular person um, is going to come out and be honest and you're not used to that. This particular person is going to have, be consistent. This person is going to have integrity and you're not used to that. So you're going to look at and view this person as if they have just the same as what I just said. They have an end game. That what are their intentions? 
because they're coming to you open they're coming to you um speaking positively they're coming to you with so much love and so much um sincerity you taking it as they try to play you for a fool but that's not how it goes you have to go into a relationship you have to go into a new relationship being open until they show you their true authentic self of being something other than what they say they are right the true authentic self it whether it's good or whether it's bad right when they show you who they truly are it could be very well be something beautiful or it could be very well be something negative right so doubt you're gonna doubt this person right you're gonna doubt this person but in some strange what in a, some strange way um, you're gonna doubt this person but you're gonna want self-assurance you're gonna want to this is where you where it's gonna come in this person is going to prove they're gonna want to prove their love they're gonna want to prove that they are there for you and to love you and to be with you they're gonna that's where the self-assurance is going you're gonna want a self-assurance that this is authentic this is true that you can really let go and be free and this person strangely and oddly enough is going to make you happy see when you meet this person this person is going to make you happy but you're not used to that so you don't want to give so you're going to fight against yourself a feeling is happiness until this person can prove that they really what they really want from you which this particular person is now they not they they, they they're not um, they understand where you are coming from and they're gonna be willing to give you unconditional love they're gonna be consistent because what why this person is doing this and why this is the way because they feel they know you they know your spirit they feel you they understand where you coming from and i just said when you understand something with clarity you able to deal with it right it is people who don't understand and trying to grasp and trying to figure things out that they 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 wouldn't be able to keep being bothered with you but this particular person is going to stay grounded rooted prayed up they're going to get their guidance from the divine god their ancestors whomever they're going to get guidance and they're going to stick it out and they're going to prove to you that you and only you is what they want and you are worthy of all of their love their time and their attention this is truly going to be the one for you the lover of your soul that's the present all right so the outcome now i i ain't even gonna attempt to sing this one <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> all right so if you don't know this one you 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 need to go look up the lyrics because everybody should know this one giving him something that he can feel by aretha franklin all right all right so this person in the if you have not it, it could be this particular person and that's at the present where this is going this could be at the um at not at, uh the, at where it's going okay so it could also be the outcome it could be uh for those of you that has not met anyone in the present this could be your future this is what's coming in okay all right so embrace all right and it says through each other you find the missing pieces so what i get from that is that look at that mm. somebody else got this card i think it was uh scorpio um anyway um what i get from this is that in the in the future of the outcome or who's coming in for you they're going to you whoever you are you have um 
you are whole, but nobody is without some missing pieces, some cracks, some areas that needs to be covered. Let's just picture a vase, right? This picture of vase that has been broken, you put it back together. It still has those cracks, have what have some cracks that maybe you didn't have the pieces to. Well, this particular person that's coming in, in the future, coming in towards you, is going to come in and mend those missing, those missing pieces that have created voids in your life. Um, this particular person, because look at the picture, this person is going to love you like no one has ever loved you. And what it is, is that I keep getting in, in my readings, I'm keep getting lately, um, what I'm getting is forgetting. Do you all not know that when you have a lot of projecting of negative energy, when you have a lot of people doing black magic, doing spell work, doing a whole lot of things, they may it may return back to cinder. It may not affect you, but what it does, it messes with your memory. You you don't for, you forget certain things or you forget um, vital things that you need to do to keep your protection or to keep you afloat or to keep you, you forget. And then, you know, it'll be like, okay, well, why? Okay. Oh, okay. I ain't done that in a while. I know I need to be doing that. It's because of all of these different things that's being thrown at you. It messes with your memory, right? Vital things that you, you were doing that was working out for you, that was doing, that was going... So, what I'm picking up in some of these readings that I've been doing is that forgetting, not forgetting, um, for, not forgetting, some of them have, um, some people have forgotten um, vital things and some things are subtle things. But this particular card, this person is going to come back and fill those voided places that you have forgotten that you needed um a love you 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 in love you know that gotten love for mother father you're not in the position that some of these other people are in you know what love is you felt love before but this particular person is going to come in and love you uh in a way that you have not been loved in a long time so much so that you have forgotten what it felt like to be loved you have forgot how it felt to be made love to mind body and soul you have forgotten how it feels to be touched when someone really loves you and really craves you and really wants to be with you what that feels like just an example okay this person is going to come in and fill those missing places fill those empty voids and give you the love that's going to make you completely whole again they're going to come in and they're going to talk they're going to want to talk it's not going to be somebody that's going to come in, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, let's do this. Um, uh, it's just so full of lust. and so They may do want to be with you, but this person knows that they want to get to know you. It is something different. It's something new. It's something um, really, really um, attractive about you. It's not. It's, you're just like some, someone that they have never met before. They're going to want to talk. Because they're gonna to want to figure this thing out. What is it that, what is it, what is it that I'm feeling about you? What is it? What is something special? And I want to tap in to try to see what it is. Because 
you're going to treat this person. They're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to meet with you. You're going to have many dates, many outings, um, talking on the phone, long hours, you know, really, really being um, where it's a lot of talking, a lot of energy being um, communication um, going forth. All right. I'll do this one last. <laughs> Envious. This particular relationship, because this is how people are going to see you, this particular relationship is going to create a lot of envious people. People that you wouldn't even think would, that would be envious is going to be envious of you, okay? They're not going to want you to have this person they're going to be very very jealous because the energy when you guys come together the electric energy the magnet the magnetic energy the love that's flowing between you two people are going to see it immediately um they're going to sense it they're going to feel it and they're going to be immediately jealous instantly jealous of you and this person but you already prepared for that because you've been going through jealousy by yourself, right? Hate, jealousy, envy. You 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 already know what it, what's up. It's not even going to bother you. Okay. All right. So for this next card, don't get uh, hung up on this, okay? All right. So this person that's coming in could be a twin flame. All right, so look, a lot of us um, don't view view the twin flame differently, um, differently, or view this connection differently. Basically, this is an elevated soulmate. Um, you can take it as a twin flame if you still believe in that, but uh, ele elevated because. Twin flames do exist, but not the way, to me, in my opinion. Because um, some, a lover of your soul, someone who loves you, you love them and they love you, the other part of your soul, your yin and your yang, where y'all are different, you still should be able to come together in some type of unified measure. However, I still, um, I still believe that a twin flame do exist, and um, but not not the way I used to. Twin flame, um, a twin flame was to come into your life to teach you lessons about you it's the same um equivalent as uh, a karmic soulmate um but there is people who have twin flames and have connected with their twin flame and they have a relationship so it's very rare is what i'm saying you can have a twin flame but most times um these twin flame relationships the runner the chaser um the the you know you know keep running and hating and all this other stuff while you trying to help them it is it mimics to me a karmic soulmate because you got two choices that you have to make you either going to be with this person do right by this person come into this person's life um, do the healing, do the healing work. Um, you're either going to do that or you're just going to continue a long life of negativity, projecting, evil eye, hating, trying to uh, hate on this other person because you were not willing to do your work. You were not willing to do your part. You have the same gifts as this person has, but you were not willing to open up and do your part but anyway anyway i have i will have to do a whole reading on twin flame and i'm i'm just not it to explain the raw truth about twin flame 
relationships because each twin flame relationship is different it's according to people free will and free choices everybody have free will you cannot take somebody else's will that mean that in a even in a twin flame relationship you can love this person all day long day in and day out you can give this person you can show this person you can give them the world as we just got through saying if this world was mine but if this particular person does not want it rejects it walk away from it then they made their choice. You cannot change that person. You cannot. Just like that person cannot change you. When you're ready to pull up and you're ready to go, you don't want me, fine. I'm getting ready to move on to, to somebody who will. You can't change that other person. Doing black magic, projecting evil eye, trying to hate on them, trying to hurt them. It ain't going to work. Because you made your choice. You made your choice, and that person made their choice. Both people making their choices. No one can force their will on each other. But when you make your choice, and you make your you make your decision, and you do what you want to do, then you can't stop the other person because everybody has free will. That is the component of a twin flame. All right, anyway, twin flame, elevated soulmate. This right here is someone that's, this me, what this means to me is really, really deep. Deep, 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 deep connection that's coming in. Someone that, that's why I said this person is going to see you. Because you are them and they are you. They're going to see you. Soulmates, it's the same. Right? They're going to see you in ways that you have not seen yourself. That's why they're going to be able to come in and fill those empty pieces, fill them empty places, fill those voids, voids that you don't even know that is in within you. They're going to be able to touch you in ways that you don't even think, don't even know that you need to be touched. This person is going to be able to see you and see all your flaws see everything that needs to be touched everything that needs to be uh filled everything that needs to be um blessed this person is going to bless you okay what else do we have here okay so i was like why did this car come out <laughs> it says if i can have another chance spirit said this person because I was like, why did this come out, right? And then I seen the twin flame. I said, no, I'm not reading it like that. This is somebody that's coming in. It's not going to be an old person. It's not going to be an old twin flame. It's not going to be an old karmic soulmate that's coming in. No, that's not what this is. Spirit said that this particular person, just like you, Fit you where it get in, okay? But I got to do it so I can make sense. Where you were mistreated, where you were uh, hurt, and where you were in these deep, deep connections, and uh, people was ghosting you, and uh, this just they they've been through the ringer too. But this per particular person asked God for one more chance one more chance can I have one more chance at love maybe this particular person is someone's twin flame and they they finally going to let go of that situation and they're going to come in they want another chance at love they want to do things right this time they want it, They know all into the twin flame. They know all into the deep soulmate. They all know into all these deep divine relationships. But they want one more chance to be able to have that love. They missed out. They missed out on an opportunity. They want one more chance at this kind of love. And God gave them you. That's why this particular person, when they come in, they're going to be patient. They're going to love you because you 
is them. They already been through this. They already know all into it. They already know why you acting the way you acted. They already know why you fearful. They already know what's going on. This person is going to come in and love you the way you're supposed to be loved because they miss oh confirmation all right now all right because this particular person missed out on a love of a lifetime and now this time this time they got it with you they ain't letting it go they're gonna do you right they're gonna treat you right they're gonna um uh love those missing pieces they're gonna craft you back together they're going to create a stable environment they're going to create a stable uh, uh, a stable finances they're going to take care of, care of you provide for you, love you, everything bam and there it is they're going to give you something that you can feel mind, body and soul alright so nice little hour give it to you guys alright this has been your reading Hit those comments. Let a sister know. Um, hit the emojis. Let a sister know you're still rocking with her. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just thumbs the channel. Share, share, share. Subscribe. Look, if you're just watching these readings, guys, you need to subscribe. Okay? Subscribe to the channel because I'm really, really... Um, getting it in to tap into my um subscribers um tapping into my subscribers and somebody trying to call you all right so tapping into my subscribers and really 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 trying to um keep them safe lighting a candle uh praying over my subscribers really um creating a weekly thing and if you're not subscribed, then you won't be included, all right? So this this channel is much, much more than just hitting the subscribe. I do much, much more than just, a, you know, reading. Um, you need to tap in, all right? So um, subscribe. Description box have all, everything in it. Um, if you're new here for the first time, all of the information is there. Um, social media is there. Um, personal readings are open. Um, if you have um, sent money for personal readings, please email me back because <laughs> somebody sent money and I don't know which one it is. So email me that you sent the money and I will respond back, okay? Um, other than that, all, uh, do not go on my social media and, and ask me about readings because I don't get them in time. You need to email me. My email me email me uh, is in the description box. Social media. I'm gonna try to try to um, start doing my social media, getting back into doing my social media. If it's nothing but taking some pictures and invite, uh, letting you see what I, if I when I go out. I'm try to, you know, I try to tell you guys to live your best life, right? So I have to practice what I preach because guys I work a lot I'm always working <laughs> I am always working I work a full time job I have a household um, you know I have you I have um, my spirituality so I have to balance all of that and I want to do more and so I need to figure out some things how I can do more but as it stand now I do a lot I work a lot so I am making a effort to go out more be out more have fun that concert that she is Anita Baker is my favorite she is my favorite so um that definitely made me happy uh, when i went to the concert so yeah um go out guys um go out um if you like clubbing go out 
to the club if you like if you don't really have nobody to go out with take yourself out go to happy hour go sit at the bar you don't need anybody to um go to happy hour and sit at the bar have a glass of wine it's out you're just getting out you're hearing the music you're just getting out and then when you get done you just go back home or whatever or just go to the museums go to the zoo um it don't have to be a nightclub or anything. Go to a comedy club. Comedy club. Um, go to a concert, right? It's a, this is concert time, you know. Go out and have fun. It's nice weather. Go on vacation. Believe it or not, I have took a whole lot of vacations by myself. Because <laughs> I used to work uh, all the time, right? So, yeah. So do that, guys. Um, and I will be posting on Instagram um, those pictures um, like that. Okay? So what else is it? I think that's it. Hit the notification bell because I'm going to try. I don't know why, but I'm going to try to go live weekly. Do one live weekly. I don't know what sign. Switch it up which sign, but do at least one live weekly. So when I go live, guys, you need to show up. Show up. Um, it, the more you show up for my live, the more I'll do them. And I can interact interact with you during the live, all right? So with that being said, it's now almost an hour. <laughs> so I'm saying this is going to take a long time to upload. But all right. So lastly, go in the description box if you want to know about those roses. Um, go check it out. They last a long time, guys. So it's worth it, right? You sit them wherever you want to sit them. They, the roses, flowers do it for me. I love flowers. So they do it for me. So maybe I just, yeah, they're beautiful. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go. Um, I'm sending you love. I'm sending you healing. And Trinity is out.